Hi, welcome to this lecture. In this lecture, I'm going to start working on the character head project. And this is a warm-up project. This is not the main project. We are going to do a different character for this course. But I thought let's do a short project which will teach us a little bit sculpting and poly painting. I'm going to use this concept for this purpose. And I have attached this concept with the resources folder of this lecture. So let's do this character head sculpting. So here I'm going to use pure ref which is a very good small application to bring your image on top of your interface. So let's open it. You can download it freely. It's a free application. Just Google no pure ref. You will download it. So now I'm going to bring my reference image. So let's bring left mouse drag and bring here. So now you can just scroll your middle mouse uh, to zoom in zoom out here and you can middle mouse drag to pan here so i'm going to start with a spear so let's go to light box and i'm going to start with a g spear so let's click on this uh, middle g spear here it's a dynamis spear so double click and let's press no here i don't want so here you can see i have a spear and this is my pure ref image it's gonna always be on top of my gbrush interface so if you have a second monitor you can put that onto the second monitor as well that would be better so again you can bring this to this side as well so i'm going to keep this side so here uh, there's my spear dynamic spear and you can see you know symmetry is on already you can see the double dots here so this is the symmetry it's automatically turned on with that project if it's not you can press x on your keyboard to turn on or off the symmetry so i'm going to first block this character head basic shapes you can see so we're going to focus on these two in this lecture i'm going to block this basic shapes so i'm going to first use the move brush so let's change the standard brush to move brush so click here and choose move so now i want a bigger brush radius now if i try to move vertices it's gonna affect a very small area so let's undo with ctrl G so now I'm going to increase this draw size to increase the brush radius or draw size here you can also do this by pressing S on your keyboard and when you press S it's going to show you the draw size exactly underneath your cursor wherever the cursor is it's going to show you that if you move your mouse cursor out of that it's going to disappear so make sure you are not moving your mouse cursor change the draw size from here so let's make it a big size uh, so that i can adjust bigger area bigger forms so this is my front face so i'm going to roughly uh, roughly adjust the basic steps here i'm going to turn up this perspectivity so let's turn up that perspectivity so that I can work easily without any perspective destruction. So let's quickly adjust this. So I'm going trying to get this shape. Let's rotate it. When you rotate, you can hold shift to uh, snap to your orthographic view. You can see uh, I rotate it like this and press shift to snap to that orthographic. Then again move. So now I'm looking at this side image and let's try to get the you no know, the egg of the skull here. So basic uh, shapes here and again rotate from front and basically this side of the skull is flat here so let's make it flat something like this and make it rounded this skull is round here something like this roughly then I'm going to extrude this you no know, neck part so let's go and mask this area so I'm going to hold control and let's paint this area like this so masking is basically a non accessible area you can see when you hold control and move your mouse on top of this object or left mouse so now I just adjusted this area then let's 
reverse this mask by holding control and click outside now everything else is masked except that area so now i'm going to use my gizmo to like move that area so let's click on this move icon here so beware that the move brush uh, you can also do that with move brush but here i'm using move tool here which is my gizmo and from here i can move this like this from these arrows it's like uh, any 3d applications or you can even move from here as well freely so now when i move it you can see uh, i stretched all those polygons so these are the in between polygons those are stretched so let's first control drag to get rid of this masking so hold control and drag outside like this okay now you can see the stretch polygons if i click on this poly frame option here i can see the poly wireframes now you can see the you know, stretching polygons so here i'm using dynamics so i can easily fix this by holding control and drag outside make sure you don't have any mask if you have mask it erase that mask when you don't have any mask and it's a dynamics object you can control drag outside to recreate those polygons you can see so it recreated that polygons that square polygons everywhere with the same density so this is the beauty of dynamics you can stretch and sketch your model and recreate the polygons okay so now i'm going to sculpt on top of this let's turn off this polyframe and let's take a different brush in this case i'm going to use clay build up clay build up is a very good brush to like uh, blocking your object here let's say this is the you no know, neck muscle here uh, so i can do that easily by you no know, and you can see the resolution is very low and i want a very low resolution in this stage i don't want a very you no know, high resolution to block so let's block the head a bit so i'm going to i'm going to block this eye area as well so let's choose a different brush called dam standard so let's press d to filterize and choose dam standard brush and i'm going to put a line to block this eye area you can see very big brush line like this and then i'm going to use clay build up again and when you use your brush it's basically by default it pulls the vertices you can change it to the sob which you know pulls those vertices inward you don't have to switch between the brush r or g sob option here just be in the r option and hold alt to temporarily go to g sob you can see so i can easily so here i'm trying to get the plane of the face basic plane of the face and again here i can bring the nose with a very low poly object here you can see and again go back to move and move and look for the side profile here Let's just try to get the bigger forms or bigger shapes first before you do any, any sort of small details or like features of the face. Okay, now I'm going to start sculpting the ear. So let, let's again do the same thing, mask the ear area. So let's mask this area. So now my symmetry is turned on so it should work on both sides. So now mask this area and again control click outside to invert the mask okay so let's use the move brush in this case and let's bring this out you can see my symmetry is off so let's move this out like this and try to get the angle of the ear so this side should come outside something like this then let's bring the move you know the the mouth cylinder there 
you can see so very basic big shapes I'm not trying to you know, match with this reference yet so again with this area again you can smooth these areas by holding shift when you hold shift you can see the G intensity is changing and the brush color changes to blue hold shift to smooth and you can smooth the shapes I should bring this a little bit and this eyebrow kind of rounded here and whenever you stretch something so let's turn on this poly frame here again hold control and click and drag outside to regenerate the dynamics polygons so this is the way to block your model first so start from a dynamic sphere and push or pull with different brushes and stretch and regenerate the polygons so i'm stopping this lecture here in the next lecture we are going to block the all those features of the face like nose lips and all those things